Oh, that's a lovely motor, that. It's funny that I actually own a motor from a Robot Wars competitor, Scar, so I do genuinely just display an engine motor in front of, like, a few books in my wardrobe with a yo-ho-ho, -ho, it's Tail of the Toaster. Welcome back to Let's Play Inazuma 11 2 Firestorm. Right, we're ready. Come on, slow coaches. You want to get started or what? We are going to play Triple C, and I do mean we because I'm here with the second guest of the series. Stelios78910, if that's still in my username. Oh, if you it could be changing that future. soon, could it? No, no. Nah. But let's just go with Stelios. I'm like a house guest here now. Every Let's Play, there I am. I was there <laughs> in the comments of Steven through Sodor. And everything. It's an honour to Just because a girl's never given you chocolates, that's no reason to start pinching them, Todd. <laughs> Sean Frost. Everyone's against poor Todd. I was they're watching they're... something the other day, I can't remember what it was, but it was saying how all Todds in media have a really bad portrayal. <laughs> I don't know, there's a Todd in Coronation Street, and he's pretty much my favourite character, because generally with Coronation Street... Like, it's got this main gay character called Sean, whose personality is pretty much through and through, I'm gay, I'm defined by my sexuality. And there's a decent one who goes out with him, he's called Bit Billy. Bit of negative representation then. But... but, like, he's he's a good character, but it's pretty cliche how he's a gay vicar, you but know, just for equality. But cliche in that sense, so maybe you could say it's a good thing, because it's meant to represent the everyday people. So it's like, oh, of course we've got a gay vicar, just to be unlikely. And then the third gay in Coronation Street is called Todd, and he, he's just great, he's really smart, and he loves to scam people, and he works in a florist against his own will. It was all going with grape stereotypes until he worked in a florist. This is Spectacle Crash! <laughs> so good in that. I'm watching this on my glasses on right now. What an honour. Uh, yeah, you oh, just have Daisy, to kind Daisy, you could have saved that. Just have to kind of pretend that Sean Frost is wearing glasses, but that's the move. Yeah, I didn't actually realise that people that don't have glasses can know that move. There's hope for I, you. I was it. really surprised, because, like, Tower can only be learned by girls. I at least thought Spectacle Crash would be exclusive to Spectacles wearers. Now let's have a look at this. Oh, no, never mind. Not good enough. Where do you draw the line? Like, that player I love called Red... Red Nears, like reindeers, is that spectacles? The the antlers? Could you count that as it? Or is the mask spectacles? Where do you draw the line? I wouldn't like to see him do a spectacle crash. He'd stab someone. Well, Those there's still antlers. time to recruit him. I don't know how. Go on, Sue. But yeah, of course, there's been two guests on this series. Trail decided to appear on the much more serious Royal Academy Redux, but the Stelios. He was here for the street sallies last time, last LP, and this time he's gone for the similarly unimportant Super Triple C. Which makes a lot more scenes. sense, because now he doesn't have to be quiet over the really important dialogue. Of course, of course. Like, I just want to say that Sue is one of my favourite characters in this game. That's why I've appeared in this episode. Not necessarily Triple C on my favourite team. Whilst there's a few players I like, like, oh, we're not, we're looking at Raimon's team right now. It's maybe not a good time to point it out. Uh, I like Lily Willow, Helen Earth, I think her name is. Uh, the one with huge eyes. Uh, who's a Oh, yeah, the one with the pink hair. Yeah, yeah. Lily Willow has, like, red hair as well. And she shipped with Nathan in the anime, so I've got a kind of a, uh, like, a. But no, she is cool. And I had her in my team. Oh, yeah, is that. Uh, are we yeah, against is. her right now? That's Earth. She... Yeah. I think I said Helen Hearth, but oh well. That's it, that's the name. Yeah, th this goes to Just show, it. you know, when people like us have spent over 75 hours on a single playthrough of Inazuma 11 2, we know our stuff. Even the most unimportant of teams like Super Triple C could still name like half the team because we've probably yeah. recruited about. It's been half like two years them. since I played the game. Hey, dude, don't make it bad. And he scored. Don't don't be presumptuous. Daisy they are got fired up. Slash here. Oh, well, never mind. At no, least she tried. Probably. Give it a good go, Daisy. It's better than better at football than Daisy from Mario Strikers. She just 
gets mad at everything and punches the ball. She was my secondary after Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong just gets... Everyone gets mad at everything in that game. What are you saying? It's true. No, I, I use Daisy all the time in Mario Strikers because, oh, I, I don't know, it just really separated her from Peach. I thought, like, there's only one character in this game who actually punches the ball for a special move, and of all of them, they picked Princess Daisy, and I really like that, so I used her all the time. And she had, like, this weird goal animation where she'd, like, poke her own ass and it'd make a sizzling sound effect, and I was like, what? Yeah. I think it did like a little zoom as well. I love how the Mario sports games give personality. Even Mario and Sonic does that. Like with how in the trailers they put like Luigi on a horse and everyone would flip the business over it. But I did notice later into my lifetime of playing Mario Strikers that Daisy was kind of one of the worst characters in the game. She didn't really have any power to her kicks at all. Oh well, you know, I was just that great at the game. She could be my secondary. That's probably why I went for Donkey Kong, to contrast. What I ended up doing in Mario Strike is I would just avoid using special moves altogether and I'd just try to get regular goals as if it was a real football game. You've got the GameCube one. Oh, it's actually one of my favourite LPs, that. Cow's Crazy doing the original Mario Smash footballs. I can't believe the eyes were bleeding losing! You see, the reason it's uh, one of my favourite LPs is because mostly in a Let's Play, the person will just strive for absolute success, but it wasn't like that in that LP. The Mario Strikers games, they're more difficult than you might imagine, and he would just, he wouldn't try to beat every cup, he'd just try to play every cup. If he won a match, he won a match. If he didn't, oh well, it was funny anyway. Yeah, I like uh, used to practice FIFA for LPs when I was a kid, and I always used to just carry on even if I lost. But if it was a football manager one, it'd be totally different. Everyone soft resets in that game. But nah, it's like um, the smash. Me as a casual player going from brawl to melee or sixty four. There's no final smashes, so I'll be like, oh, I'm missing out on something that's major to me. That's me looking back at the original Mario Strikers, but with the original Inazuma. I see the better recruitment system in this game, and I look back at the original Inazuma, and it's so hard to recruit all the players you want. But there's better players in this game anyway, like Sue Hartland. So, you know, it's a win-win. Second game's the best. Yeah, definitely, when I've been on a session of playing Inazuma Go 2, and then I go back to this, it's pretty jarring. The animations aren't as good, and obviously just switching to a, a DS game in general was always going to look pretty mad, but... They they are oh, very goodness. different in terms of gameplay. Got yeah. oh. He deserves everything he gets, except the ref says it's a foul, so we're going to take advantage anyway, and Mac's going to score. Show him what you got, Mac! He's actually being able to jump, unlike the real little Mac. Yeah. He kind of got the spinning part of Mac's up B in there, but with his whole body. I'm predicting you'll probably get eight. Oh, well, let's see if I can match up to that. That would be the biggest landslide victory here. You've got enough for okay one more goal on a fired up, I would say. I am fired up, to be yeah. fair. Oh, you mean one more before it runs out? You could. I forgot this player existed. More, uh, yeah, the, just the scary looking one. It's not that scary. Well, actually, I, I could... Oh, Snake didn't get the ball. I was about to say, I could have just gone for a long shot and that would have been a goal right there. Because they're not, they're, not they're not swapping Daisy out. No matter how badly she's done, yeah. they're still keeping her on just to be like, oh, don't worry, you did They fine. hardly sub goalies in this game. Oh, here we go. From not even the halfway line. This is even Harry better Snake. than David Beckham, this is. Let's see Whoa. if Harry Snake That's going wide. Harry stylish. Oh, dear. Whenever he scores, he says, When I shoot, I never miss. I'll score but he, next he time. He usually misses. Go, Daisy. Oh, um, no. Unless you get some miracle stoppage time. Even oh, no, you got this. Oh, no, offside. I don't think your 8 0 is going to happen. I'm sorry, bro. It's all good. I just realised, though, 
The the referee has a mop top, and in my on my channel, the top five Beatles references in gaming, I watched some characters with mop tops, and the referee for Inazuma was there all along, and I was thinking, is there an Inazuma character with mop tops? Does Ita kind of have a mop top from Inazuma 11 Go spoilers? But it didn't cross my mind to go with a ref, because the refs change every game. I did actually promote your Beatles countdown in the episode where Trail appeared. But oh. this is a better place to plug it because that was a very serious episode with a lot going on. I don't know if a trail would have been understanding what was going on, but hey-ho. I mean, were you with the reference, not the story? Oh, go on, Daisy! And then passes it to the girl who plays in an army hat. Doesn't seem like I'm going to get another goal at all, but that's still 6-0 to be fair. That's, that's pretty good. But we get good. to underestimate in the triple C. I'll be doing some off-screen training after this episode because I've got a long, long journey to get home on the train. So I'll just be doing extra competition. I mean, Janus route. can get. Yeah, Janus is weak. <laughs> He's already suffering a lot as it is. He's Janus just has home. been kicked in the chest by Royal Academy Redux. He may have scored, but barged out of the way by Triple C, and now he's even been bombed, and he still deserves more. We did it, we won. I see why you pick these characters so you can do easy voices for them. I love robots. You know this. Oh, Bandit's got a new move. It is Whirlwind Twister. That's for dribbling purposes. Pretty good. Hey, Tail. Where's Steve? He's dead. Get over it. What Daniel Philcott's already commented this probably by the time. Yeah, and then, then he'll have to post a second comment to go, No, he's not dead. Being such... A... Annoying. I'm not having it. I think it's too strong to call you a dick, but I've just said it anyway. It's, I'm not having this. I'm like Jack. I feel like Jack when Jack's all like sad, like, don't be so mean about Steve. Oh good, you're on about me. I thought you were calling Daniel a dick. No, I was on about you. I apologize. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm horrible. Nah, man. you weren't my type. Wh what? <laughs> and you ain't my type. type. And you ain't with a million bleeding miles of being my type. Go on, then you do it. Ugh, you're just a load of sweaty, smelly little boys. Who are you calling smelly? At least I'm not a girl. Poo wee! <laughs> Todd from Community is another I think what she's trying to tell you is she don't fancy you. Uh, oh. yeah. I think we got that. <laughs> Thanks. Nah, ah, ah. Good old Sue, she ain't half got a mouth on her. She's got the ah, daisy ah, flower. Ah. Pancake. Oh yeah, I took a trip to the pancake stall oh. yesterday. It was lovely. Oh, tell me about it. This is yeah. your cue. You're not got. All oh, right, I said tell me about it. And what did you tell me about the pancakes? Oh, uh, Heartland's line are gone Was it now. with no syrup? With? Pancake with no syrup! No, we didn't actually manage to get any pancakes, I just walked in. Oh. And then, then had to finish Who cares? looking for Nelly's aid. Don't rise to it, you stupid idiot! <laughs> it's the problem with them, not us! He's right! What would they know about decent fellas? Mark's the most decent boy I know. Exactly. They have no idea what they're talking about. Boo, listen to you, you know. So you both fancy the little... Sorry, I was just trying to do it at the same time with you, so I was saying it quietly. Also, there's some Vote Leave and Vote Remain posters outside my house. We put both on, and people uh, are looking at them, so fancy I can hear them. Him? No, that's, that's not what... Hmm. Yeah, ah, ah, ah. Look how red you've gone. Redder than your boyfriend's headband. She's laying it down. He's owning me, lads. Because now I've publicly revealed what it says on the back of the box. To buy Blizzard to watch Sylvia and Mark's blossoming romance. <laughs> and this is the best we get. Do I really smell? Oh, no! <laughs> wow, that was great. I put a sock in it, Jack. I told you, it's not our problem, it's theirs. Stupid girls. Wow. Mm, well, it doesn't look like Triple C are going to share this. By the way, I've just glazed over it, but this is an exclusive scene. Stella, you've never even seen this before, despite the fact you've been commentating over it. After we go into the match, Sue is being like, Oh, I ain't that picky. Just someone answered 
cool, smart, trendy. Oh, and it also helps if you've lived in America. I love that accent. Yeah. yeah. So, as I said at the start of the LP, if you don't get Bobby and Eric at the train station, you will get them later in the form of an exclusive scene. Bobby came up to us at the submarine in Ahime, and now this is an exclusive scene to help us get Eric. Except it actually makes us work a bit harder. He doesn't just turn up on us. Instead, Sue has a long-winded conversation about how he'd love to find an American bloke, so we have to actually go onto the bus and find him. Well, you could be going all the way back to America, it could be worse. Also, look at Kerry Boot Guy or Had in Nathan. Uh, two best mates. So, um, <laughs> I, I guess I have to scout for him, type his name in manually. Definitely saves you time if you're on a speed run just to pick Eric at the start. But here I am going the long way just for the sake of showcasing it. Is that what I was meant to put? Yes, there he is. He's level four, so I'm not going to be making much see, use of him. I had no idea who Eric was. So this was all surprise to me at the time. Because I hadn't watched the anime yet either. Yeah, you know Eric, first game. Eric was... In the Inazuma anime, but in the original Inazuma game, he was nothing but an optional partner. So it made more sense to me that I just had him on the team anyway. But yeah, like you, been parking gaming. you would definitely be a bit in the dark if you didn't know who Eric was in advance. But basically, run in the down, dark. he's American, he did play for Ryman, kind of. People assumed he was dead but he's not. He was just hiding in America, and I went to the wrong bloody place, didn't I? It's alright. More time for me to be on him. I'm eating a malt loaf. I really should be appreciating my time on here more, but I'm just kind of hungry, because I've been on a run like just before we did this. So I was like, I'm aching for something. I'm training to be like Nathan, you know, super fast. This is what the status feature does. We can ring Hillman to remind us where he is, and apparently he was in the station, just inside a shop. So let's go back. Oh yeah, I remember that. And I, 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 I'm, I'm truly disheartened that you've been eating in this Disheartland. recording. Disheartland? Disheartland? I mean, that is just the cardinal sin of Let's Playing. That is the one thing you I'm don't do. I've play. been re-watching some old Chug of Conroy Earthbound to help me with my own playthrough of the game. And he eats in the middle of a recording sometimes and it disgusts me. What does he eat? I, oh, anything. <laughs> Whatever his mum gives him because he Not was still living life. with his parents at the time. Anyway, we've got Eric, so let's See, introduce it, so him. Why can't I? Let's introduce him to Sue Hartland and then we'll call it a day so Stelly can go bloody eat without bothering my ears. Oh, it's almost done now, don't worry. Yeah, so is the video. <laughs> this is so disrespectful. I didn't even ask if you wanted to be in the Let's Play. You just assumed you had a place. You said, no, I want to be on Triple C, so I thought, oh, well, go on then. And then you've just come here and eaten stuff. Look. My birthday's coming up. You can just give it to me as a birthday present coming on this. You're still so, making bloody tongue-clicking sounds right now. And apparently we need to have Eric in the actual team of 12. So I'm sorry, Chaney. You're popping back out again for the second time in the project. Move Eric in and talk to Sue. Wait, isn't that the team of 16, not 12? You still are going to find out our tribal secrets. We're not saying a word. Ain't that right, Sue? Ah, ah, ah. Sue? What the heck's wrong with you? I've, I've found him. Jumping. I'm not going to jump. I finally found him. Me in capitals. An handsome prince. Ow, ow. I've dreamed of this day. God, you flubbed that up. It's just me handsome prince. Uh, Eric's your prince? Eric? What an amazing name. It's beautiful. Oh, Eric, you won my art. I'm in love. Already. 
That's more like it. He's won her up. She doesn't look like much of a painter. <laughs> I love that line. <laughs> it's destiny that brought me look. It's destiny that brought me love here today. Oh, because I'm viewing this on my phone. This is awful. No, seriously, it was. I've got proof. Look, screenshots phone. Sue takes out a well-thumbed magazine, whatever that means. I think it means she's put her thumb through the pages a lot. Scrolling Starstruck over it. Love, special edition. Well read. It says right here in my horoscope, I'm gonna meet some <laughs> handsome prince. Basically, just drop the H. I do that anyway. Who says H? That face, that accent. You're everything I ever dreamed of. Eric? An handsome prince? <laughs> You've a screw loose, you have. Come on, Sue, knock it off. This lot are from Alias Academy, remember? No, don't you see? He's not really one of him. They've brainwashed him. Whoa, they're all in a heart shape. Look. Oh, that's perfect. I mean, it kind of messed up with Sylvia a bit. Get back. Mm. Oh, so it's tragic, that isn't. What they've done to you, my darling? Um, darling... Uh oh, here we go again. Sue's having one of her funny turns. Once she goes proper loopy for him, there won't be any talking to her. She <laughs> won't listen to a word we say. Oh, sweet cheeks. Honey bunch. Oh, I remember that cutscene. Me and my honey bunch. Oh, it's coming up. You want to know the secret of our blinded footy skills, do you? Then oh, I'll yes. tell you. Anything for me, darling. There's a secret theme park hidden underneath now, land. A secret theme park? What do you mean? It's knitted out. It's kitted, it's kitted out with all the latest training technology. I've been <laughs> emphasizing the end so much. I said knitting, knitting competition. We tried it out, thinking, and he thought it'd help us get nice and slim. And before we knew it, we were football legends. <laughs> thinking it'd now. help us. That's perfect. Oh dear. Do you think that could be Alice's hideout? Aye, that would make sense. They'd need somewhere to roll up and train between attacks. Sue, we need your help. Can you take us to the facility? What? Why should I? You've got a bleeding nerve. She'll not be so stubborn if Eric asks her, Mark. Come on, Eric. Do it for the team. Huh? I, I'd have thought you'd be a little more sympathetic, Sylvia. Ah, fine. All right, all right. I'll do it. Eric's pretty good. Um, Sue, could you maybe, uh... Give me and my friends a tour of the secret theme park you were talking about. Oh, Honey Bunch, I love it when you say me name. Hear that? Do you know what that is? That's right. Wedding bells. Ring on. Er, uh, wedding bells? Yep, she's so right, Eric. I can hear her loud and clear. Come on, you can't stand in the way of fate. <laughs> Scott, stop it! <laughs> For you, darling, anything. I'll take you wherever you want to go. So, that place is our special secret spot. You can't go taking boys there. So, girls, things <laughs> things have changed. <laughs> I've found out the love of me life. I can, can see why you liked her so much, just because of this writing. Especially now I'm an English language student. Uh, we have to learn about these accents. You're happy for me, right? <laughs> All right, fine. You reckon he's the one, Sue? We ain't about to stand in the way of true love. But Sue, what about me? Oh, lesbian twist. What? <laughs> oh, yeah. Sorry, Daisy. I've forgotten me head. If it weren't screwed on. Um, why are you crying again? Oh, I've yeah. Got Australian. I forgot myself. My special chocolates was nicked. <laughs> and I was well looking forward to it. <laughs> chocolates? Oh. Oh yeah, bite your chocolates. Thing is, they just look so good and I couldn't resist, so I kind of, um, ate them. <laughs> you what? <laughs> but so, <laughs> how could you do a thing like that? <laughs> oh god, the emotion. Well, I'd had one, and that led to another, and it just sort of went on from there. Look, I'll buy you some more, right? Well, that were a load of fuss about nothing. <laughs> you know what happened now. Case closed. <laughs> Smashing. Right. Shall I show you the secret hideout then on the next part of Inazuma 11? Yeah. 2 for the Firestorm. Come with me, my little cherry pie. Me and my honey bunch will be together forever. 
There it oh, is. Disgusting. You gotta love the shortcut. Oi, don't you owe me an apology? I'm disgusting. Anyway, next episode, back on my own again. We're off to the secret training facility. Hopefully without involvement from this bystander. See you then. Check. Do you mean me or that person that there? That person there. Check out Stelly's channel. Oh, I'm coming next time then. All jokes. <laughs>